Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Ticket Tutorials, uh, episode one. Uh, in case you're wondering what this is going to be, it's going to be exactly what the title says. Duh. <laughs> um, this is a tutorial on, or uh, basic tutorials on how to get things running in Ticket um, for. Um, mainly IC2 and different systems of, of the sort. So the tutorial we're going to be doing today is a f absolutely flawless, perfect um, nuclear reactor in IC2 with safeguards and with complete um, foolproof uh, so self checks and uh, such. So I'm going to explain to you exactly what this is so so if we come in here this is our reactor chamber reactor plural chamber <laughs> and uh, if we look inside all of these reactors are identical to each other um, you can copy this uh, if you want to build this on your own you can copy this design here what this does is it vents out heat these vent the heat away from these and then these distribute it evenly among the rest of the system these just keep everything cool as an extra extra thing um, but this will not it, it completely distributes the heat evenly so you don't disintegrate any of your heat vents and um, uh, this has not got above uh, zero since I've been running these and I've been running this for a good solid 30 minutes before I ran this video and they just sat there um, it, and it also runs four quad uranium cells so um, that's very very good considering uh, that we have six of these in here so you're generating a lot of power um, but we're not going to be looking as much how to build this reactor as we are how to build the safety nets to keep these things from blowing up um, so uh, excuse the lag slightly because um, Technic does not like me recording sometimes so um, if we come in here to our control room uh, you'll notice all the lights are off there's this panel over here called power status backup only reactor control offline uh, you have to have the master button to even think about running the reactors um, because even though that these switches are the switches that turn on those reactors if I flip these switches the reactors stay off no matter how hard you try to turn them on they will stay off no matter what now we flip these switches off we turn on our primary main power online and then uh, if you watch this from from a distance wait for it wait for the lights to turn off press this button this turns on the main power and our panels power on independently from the levers the levers I can't talk um, and when you flip these switches you'll notice our reactors turn on see and if we go to our chamber in here all of them are running so how did we come about that system how did how did how did it work how did I make it and also um, how hard is it to make and it's not hard at all even though what I'm about to show you looks incredibly complicated it's not so I press this button power goes off now if we go in here to our wiring room behind the scenes, this is the wiring for that whole system. And I am going to be giving you a tutorial on how this system works and how to build it for yourself in your own power plant if you need it. So, um, let's see, um, I want to show you one thing 
the way I have this button working as a latch or as a lever is just with a old fashioned good old T flip flop. Gotta love them. <laughs> but um, I will show you how to wire one of these reactors up the way I have this set up and have a temperature safety switch on the other end of the line way down there at the reactors so if the t if the reactors hit a certain temperature the reactors will automatically shut off to prevent a meltdown and blowing up your whole world and keep it from blowing up other reactors and whatnot so uh, yeah let me head into the uh, super flat world and we'll start up okay so now that we're in our super flat world what you're going to want to do first is go ahead and build your reactor. Now I'm assuming if you're looking up this video, you already know how to build one. Um, so I'm not going to be going like over the crazy steps on how to actually build one of these. It's not that hard anyway. So if you don't, just follow my, my lead. Reactor chamber in the middle, or reactor in the middle, and then the chambers on the side. Okay, so here is our reactor. Now, um, I'm not going to be able to exactly remember what the perfect layout for that reactor in the uh, power plant that I used as a demonstration. Uh, I'm not going to be, be able to remember the symmetrical layout for that exactly, but I'm going to try to replicate it as much as I can. So, um, let's see, uh, we're just going to make one of these, some of those, some of those, some of those. Okay. So, and the coolant cells, there is our coolant cells there. Okay. So I remember you surround this and this. Oops, definitely not that. <laughs> uh, do that, do that, surround these. Then put two of those in the middle. Uh, and I remember that you stagger these like so. And then in between each of these you put the component heat exchanger and then up here you put the heat vents uh, and then you just rinse and repeat that process down here like so place these in here place these here and here then place these down here here and here and here and there is your reactor layout, your pattern to keep everything nice and cool. Now, with this reactor, you will not need to have any of the safety mechanisms, but if you want to go on your own pattern or if something happens and the game glitches or anything, you're going to want this on your reactor no matter what. So let's go over the first step, which is the safety trip here. So uh, first, I'm going to actually power this reactor on to make sure that it's not going to blow up on me. Uh, and then these should start distributing evenly. Yep. Perfect. Great. Okay. All right. So what you're going to want to do is you want to grab a, if you have nuclear control two, you're going to need this mod, uh, get a thermal monitor, get you an industrial alarm. And you're going to want to go to your red project red integration, get a NOR gate. You're going to want some not gates too. Uh, and you're going to want and gates. Okay. Um, the and gates and the not gates will be used later. Uh, for now, we're just going to be using the NOR gate. So you're going to have a NOR gate somewhere out here. You're going to have power that's being applied here. Okay consistently not off and then what you're gonna want is you're gonna want to get some red wire and bring this out you're gonna want your thermal monitor here set that to whatever temperature you want then add a alarm here 
and then wire your red wire up to that now from this is your input here what this is is your reactor main switch wherever your control room is this is that switch here okay uh well not exactly the reactor let's see uh let me do it this way I'm trying to figure out the best way because this is going this is going to be powering the reactor yeah um let's do put your thermal here and that going in and then see what what you do is that in the control room right after your switch you're going to invert that signal again so what that will do is that will act because see this is on by default so that will act as a off switch and then whenever you power it here and you flip the lever it powers the reactor like that so it's inverted now i'll explain why all of this is why i'm doing this later but with this you're gonna have a system that when this powers let's just say our reactor is on like this and our and we hit a high temperature this will emit a, a signal go to the not gate and is that nor gate nor gate uh, and it will kill the switch and the reactor will shut down until the temperature goes back up to a safe level and then when the temperature goes back up to that safe level the reactor will start up again and it can continue to produce power okay so i'm going to shut you off right now so that is the safety switch okay now we're going to be going over your master power so this will not turn on unless you are present and you can confirm that you're there and you can run the reactor so it's not like gonna blow up when you're gone or whatever so what you're gonna want is see your master switch will be back here let's just say that this is your master switch for the reactor your master power main power switch will be here okay and then you're gonna want an AND gate here so by default you want one of these to be powered so just put a lever on the side of it so it will keep your system from or so it so you only need two instead of three because you only need two for this so one let's turn this one. so you need three inputs that are true to put out to get an output that's true okay so that means that all of these need to be powered at once so if this is your main power okay so if your main power is on and your uh let me do this if your main power is on and then your reactor power is on and you're actually plugged up to the not gate then your reactor will, reactor will turn on now if this switch is off and the main power is on the reactor will still turn off and you can control it from this switch like so but if the main power is off this switch does absolutely nothing and it can't go through because not all of these powers uh, power gates are turned off so it keeps the reactor from turning on unless main power is on now um, the way I have it set up it looks a little bit more complicated in uh, the world that uh, uh that i have that power plant in this is how it runs and i'm going to build this very quickly and i will be right back okay so i built the system that i built in the actual power plant um and this is what it this is what it does so it goes to this t flip flop here that has redstone block and when this uh well first let me explain it this way this uh is this not gate this not gate says that if any if the input here is true then the outputs are false okay so that means that if i have uh this input off then that means that uh it that whatever comes out of here will be powered 
so I made that and uh, I made this redstone torch go as the uh, thing that flips this AND gate off. So if you watch when I do this, it inverts. It goes from the top to the bottom. So I'm getting power from here instead of here, and then vice versa. See? And it's up to you whichever one does whichever. But if you notice where I have this, this one connected to this panel, and then this uh, connected to this panel over here. Main power online. Turns off this so you can control the reactor from here. main power offline this is on but this is off which turns off this and gate so you can't I apologize my dog's going crazy um, but you can't turn on the reactor no matter how, how hard you tried unless by some way you broke this and gate and then just connected it up straight so on So, um, yeah. So, let's see. Is that it? I believe that's it. Because this is this is the exactly what happens in that power plant. It's just rinse and repeated over. And when, when, when I have this redstone torch powering this AND gate, I have it go under and power each individual one. I have it power each one of these, um size of the AND gate so it will power all of those reactor switches and it'll uh, work on everything even though it's just coming from one power source like that so that's how that works but yeah so that is how to create a perfectly functioning reactor safety switch that keeps the entire reactor from or any reactor that you have from blowing up if one the temperature is too high and if and or if the main power is off so it acts as a confirmation that someone is actually there running the reactor and it's not a glitch so this system up here really acts as a thing that if the game somehow glitched by some hook or crook and got rid of some of your heat vents or something like that um and the temp started skyrocketing that this would set it off and it would cut it off before it could blow up so you could actually fix the problem. That's what that's for. And then this is just, you really don't need it. It's just something cool that it, keep, that it, keeps, it keeps you accountable to make sure that you're there before you can actually run the reactor. So that's uh, how that works. And uh, you can do this as many times as you want on any reactor and it'll just keep working and keep working and keep working. And um, that's what I like about it. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching this Tech It Tutorial 1 on how to build a reactor safety switch. And um, if you want to um, copy my reactor design, um, you can um, just uh, pause the video and copy it right here. Give you some time. There you go. And uh, yeah. So thank you all for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye.